Welcome to Viral Sweep. This is just a quick tutorial to show you how to set up your first contest. When you're in your Viral Sweep dashboard, simply click on the green new promotion button at the top of the page and choose between photo contest or video contest. Now the only difference between the two is that the photo contest entry form will allow for photo uploads and the video contest entry form will accept video URLs from a variety of different platforms. Other than that, the setup is entirely the same. If you're interested in setting up a sweepstakes, you can view our sweepstakes setup video by clicking the button in the top right hand corner of this video. For this example, I'm going to show you how to set up a photo contest. Now this is our contest builder. And by completing this entire page, we'll create your contest for you. Then we give you a snippet of code that you copy and paste into your website and your contest will show up. Alternatively, we also give you a viral sweep hosted link that allows you to quickly share your contest without having to put it on your website. So first things first, we'll plug in our contest title. We have a nice WYSIWYG editor here, which allows you to change things like font family, font size, and font color. Once your title is plugged in, you'll move on to the description section. The description is usually more information about your prize or your contest, as well as more information about your company. Next is duration. You can choose your start and end dates as well as your start and end times right from the calendars. Next, we have the number of winners we are going to have for our contest. Simply input the number of winners that you want to have inside the box. Next is our form section. Now by default on a photo contest, we will always have the email address field added as well as the photo upload field and the photo caption field. Alternatively on a video contest, It'll actually have a video URL field and a video caption field. Now you can click on these fields to change their settings. For example, on the upload photo field, you can change the label of what it says, as well as the placeholder that will show in the field. And you can also set the field to be required or not. And you can even change the error message that would appear if someone did not fill out the field or upload a photo when they tried to enter the contest. If you want to add more fields to your entry form, you can do so by choosing from a bunch of pre-made fields on the left-hand side, or you can create your own custom fields like drop-down menus, radio fields, or even checkboxes. So for this example, I'll just add the name field by clicking on it. You'll see it appears over on the right-hand side, and now you have a couple of options where you can change things like the label, the placeholders, or even set the field to be required or not. One other tip here is if you want to rearrange the order that the fields show up in, simply click and drag on the left-hand side to rearrange. Next is the gallery section, which allows you complete flexibility of how you want to run your contest and display your photo or video submissions. The first option here is to show the gallery on the entry form. By default, this is set to no, which means you can privately collect photo or video submissions without having to show them in a gallery on the contest. Now, if you want to display submissions in a gallery on your contest, you would toggle this to yes. Next is the gallery label, which is the text that shows on your entry form. I'll bring up a completed contest here, and you can see here where it says open gallery. This is the gallery label. You can change what this says to be whatever you would like. When clicked, it toggles the gallery into view. Next, we have content approval. There are two settings, manual approval and automatic approval. Manual approval means every submission must first be approved by you before it is shown in the gallery. Automatic approval means every submission will automatically appear in the gallery. To learn more about gallery moderation, click the button in the top right hand corner of this video. Next we have gallery sorting. There are two settings, most recent first and top voted. Most recent first will show the most recent submissions at the top of your gallery. Top voted will show the submissions with the most votes at the top of your gallery. Top voted will only work though if you have allowed voting on your contest. Which brings us to the next option, user voting. If you want to allow people to vote on contest submissions within the gallery, you can turn this to on. You can then change the voting settings, which are one time only, one time per day, one time per photo, or one time per photo per day. Next, if you want to display the total number of votes each submission has, you can toggle this setting on and each submission in the gallery will display the number of votes that it has. Next, we have gallery theme which by default will be a dark color. If you want the gallery to match one of the colored themes that we offer, which you can see under the themes section, you would simply choose one of your themes, 
And then back in the gallery section, we would toggle this to use theme. Next, we have allow sharing, which lets you add sharing icons underneath each individual contest submission in the gallery. If we toggle this to on, it allows us to choose which social networks we want to allow sharing on. Now, if we actually preview this and we click on an image in the gallery, we can see the icons that show up here. Now, for example, let's say we want to share this image on Twitter. I can click on the Twitter icon, and if I just copy this link here, I can show you an example of how this would look for people who click on that link on Twitter. So as soon as I visit this URL, it's actually going to load up the contest itself, and it's going to bring this gallery submission into view first. Finally, we have our embedded gallery options. The embedded gallery allows you to simply embed your gallery anywhere you want, whether it's on your website, on your own custom landing page you create, on a blog post, or even on a Facebook page tab. This allows you to beautifully display content that your users submit. Now by default, you can simply embed the gallery and it will look just like this. People can click on submissions to view them and they can even scroll through submissions to see more. However, if you actually want to accept contest entries through the gallery, you can do this as well by turning this feature on. This option will add an image to your gallery that acts as a button that will toggle the contest entry form. So if we preview this again, here's our embedded gallery, but now we have an image that acts as a toggle for the form. So if I click on this image, you'll see that the contest entry form shows up. And to get back to the gallery, I can simply click on the open gallery button at the top of the form. Now you have full control over the actual image that appears in the gallery as the toggle for the contest. You can choose from the three default images we have here, or you can upload your own. The last option we have for the gallery is clicking on the background, which will exit the gallery. By default, this is set to no, but if you turn this on, I can show you an example of exactly how it works. Here we have an embedded gallery with a black background, which is our default. And by clicking anywhere on the background behind the submissions, it will actually close the gallery and show the entry form. And I can bring the gallery back into view just like that. And again, clicking anywhere on the background will close the gallery and bring the contest entry form into view. So this is the end of our contest setup overview. There's a bunch of more options on this page to get more granular with setting up your contest and toggling on certain settings like email notifications, which we won't cover in this overview. However, to learn more about setting up a contest and to get more training and in-depth tutorial videos, simply visit viralsweep.com. Mm -hmm.